Hey, yo, I bet that's worth some bank. Hands off. Stick to the plan. We're waiting for the spider. You set off an alarm and bring the cops, no amount of money's gonna save you from the kingpin. You dig? <sighs> They're setting a trap for me with idiots like this? <laughs> Not gonna happen. Better take out the cameras, or the cops will blame this all on me. Let's see what I can do before they figure out I'm here. <laughs> Fellas, I got him! Why did it have to be a museum? Museums are lame. I feel like I'm back in school. They had field trips in the form school? Yeah, shut your mouth and do your job. The lady says museum, we go to the museum. <laughs> Lots to steal in museums. Great. I think I know who's about to cross my path. Did better for me, Felicia. <laughs> you could have hooked up with me. I mean, yeah, uh, I, I meant work with me. You know, take down bad guys instead of being fight? one. Kingpin's got people more, you know. For working for the Kingpin, Felicia? Organized crime? You're better than that. What I'm about to do to these crooks is unsuitable for some audiences. I learned a valuable lesson today. Kicking bad guys in the face is fun. This ain't right. We weren't supposed to fight the spider alone. You were supposed to help us, lady. Let that be a lesson to you, fellas. Follow a woman just because you like the way she fills out a cat suit, and you'll be disappointed every time. That's a first. No man's ever called me disappointing before. You just haven't given me a chance, spider. I want to, uh, do the right thing. But your track record isn't great. Huh? They say bad guys don't think of themselves as bad guys, but come on, you must know. Sometimes I even impress myself. Ahem, a little privacy, please? What? Hey, ball, that you? Got the spider! <laughs> I have served my time like a good little girl? Get out when I'm old and wrinkly? I don't think so. You're saying the Kingpin got you out of jail? How much power does this guy have? That's what it's all about, isn't it? Power. His, yours, and mine. Reject. 
just a little closer. <laughs> I learned a valuable lesson today. Kicking bad guys in the face is fun. Take that. You're so cute when you're confused. <laughs> Let's not fight. Ah, never mind. Let's fight. when you hide in the shadows. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. This one time I fought somebody who was a real loser, and they were still better than you. <laughs> Have I mentioned I like to watch? Are we? themselves as bad guys, but come on, you must know. You're just dying to get your hands on me, aren't you, you naughty boy? <laughs> Fun. <laughs> 
You're so cute when you're confused. Come to Papa. Did to you. I was transferred to Ravencroft. The Kingpin came to see me. Just to be clear, we're talking about Wilson Fisk. Yes. He said he knew I was after power and and he could give it to me. You'd owe him. That's how it always works, isn't it? The doctors did experiments. They called it DNA crafting or crisscrossing. Cross species genetics? You've seen what can happen. Why would you do that to yourself? Boy, you are thick. I did it for you, so I'd be like you, so we could be together. But then the Kingpin ordered me to kill you, or die myself. I couldn't. I can't. Felicia, I... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm not interested in your face, just your lips. I, I can get you help. Witness protection, a new life safe from the Kingpin. And maybe, maybe someday we can get to know each other like normal people. I don't want to be normal people. Run away with me. We'll go somewhere exotic. With our power, we can live like royalty. Adventure, excitement, romance. And that sounds terrible to you. No, but I've got responsibilities. Well, I'm not one of them. Don't worry about me. I've always done fine with a target on my back. I can't just let you go. Fisk owns too many cops. If I'm in custody, I'm as good as dead. You can't do that to me any more than I can do it to you. You ever decide you want some fun in your life? Look me up. Wait! <laughs> wait! Makes sense. Fisk becomes the kingpin by eliminating all his rivals with his anti-crime task force, and the public thanks him for it. He writes a few big checks and everyone looks the other way. But it's not just the task force. I've been taking his enemies down too. And the one who's been pointing me toward them is Craven. I can't let him get away with this. I need to know more inside information on Fisk. I've got an old friend who can get it. Better make myself presentable.
Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm, uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But, as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books. So technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but... After losing my dad and Uncle Ben... I guess I wanted to believe... You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Huh? Uh. Harry, I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's got to be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. Is that why Norman started the cross-species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure. But it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it. And protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. But it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes... you still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. That's what I'm talking about.
much for fires being romantic. You know, water balloons would be a much better weapon. Would I lie to you? Shaken victim said, if Spider-Man hadn't been there, I don't know what would have happened. There he is. Ah, poor Harry. I want to help him, but without the proper testing, my blood could actually make things worse. Anyone trapped in there doesn't have much time. My blood could cure Harry, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat. It'll take time and lots of research to find out. Up He's your in blind, no mood to wait. What do you say we get out of here? You know, water balloons would be a much better weapon. Those people won't be able to breathe for long. favorites. Neither does the seismic blast. Very nicely done. It's like a bouncy house, am I right? If I give Harry my blood without testing it first, it could kill him. Or, or turn him into a monster like with Dr. Connors. And then who knows how many people can hurt get me down. and kill. Firefighters say that without Spider-Man's help, there would almost certainly have been fatalities in the blaze. Osborne lived for years with his disease. Harry's got time, even if he doesn't feel like he does. Before I give him my blood, I need to make sure it's safe. For him and everyone else. I've 
put this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him. You came. Thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different from me. I'm, I'm looking into it. I've paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune. They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people. Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I. No, no, just, just go. Harry's really at the end of his rope. I should have noticed a long time ago, but I was busy being played for a fool by Craven. I can't believe I fell for his act. But why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? I guess that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. Craven, time for a little mentor-mentee chat. Now discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. Looks empty. Maybe I can still find some answers. He was gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, and how to beat them. And how best to set a trap. You're a fake, a coward. This is your idea of a fair hunt? Oh no, it's only the prelude. <laughs> Raku, the antidote I gave you should remove all effects of the tranquilizer. I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. All that talk about honor. You lied to me. You betrayed me for the kingpin and his money. That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you eliminate the kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe I knew you would be. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now. We will see who is the hunter, and who is the prey. So you used me to take out the Kingpin's rivals. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him talking to me. Cassidy was useful for a time. He sought fear and distrust. But he is little more than a beast. It's inevitable he would have to be removed. You cross my shadows! Hard to spot him in those trees, but I have to try. There is no escape! You wanted me to watch Cassidy kill that kid! 
Why? So I'd kill him? So I'd feel guilty? Just because you're a sick freak? It was a test. To see how strong you could be. You could stomach this feeling of blood. I admit, you disappointed me. Always one step behind. I'm still waiting for an explanation for your mustache. Impossible. I studied you. You are not capable of this kind of fury. You lack a killer instinct. Death, your own senses betray you. Come get me, boy. I get as angry as you. I want to hurt my enemies just as much. The difference is, I know it's wrong. Ambush me from the trees. I can smell your fear. I make you fight, ghost. Come get me, fool. I'm right here. He springs a trap. You've been a poor sport. <laughs> you lack. Come get me, fool. So I'm right right here. here. To the death. No, that's your way. On my watch, no one dies. Some days you just got it. I beg you, kill me. Give me death over defeat. You're saying death isn't defeat? You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven, but you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the kingpin, the truth. Everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask, and I shall answer. I ran into someone who says Kingpin gets test subjects at Ravencroft. How? The institution has lost all government funding. It now relies upon private donors of which Fisk is the largest, now that Norman Osborne is dead. And they just let him experiment on inmates like some kind of Dr. Chubbenstein? <laughs> they encourage it. They view the inmates as hopelessly damaged, useful only as test subjects. I know you. You're always checking out your surroundings. You notice everything. Yes, it's true. I met with Fisk in his building, where I took note of the locations of his cameras, weapons, and accessible points of entry. He has a Telec 4566 security system, and I know the passwords. Well, you get a gold star. Draw me a map, and don't leave anything out. The information I have given you will get you inside the building, but you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am.
down in the city, they're sending task force guys out of town? I heard it's about that stolen Oscorp tech. Some kind of armor they're trying to get me back. So? We need backup now. But they don't care if working stiffs like us get killed. This is my chance to find out what the task force's real priorities are. Hey, Spidey! Just what I wanted. That'll wake you up! Ugh. This just in, webs need something to stick to. Ha! This one you think I can't get any better! I'm not used to driving that kind of truck. Why can't Tony come? Because we're going to see the boss. And only his top guys get to know where he goes when he's not here. So shut up and do your job. <laughs> I had a feeling listening in on those guys might pay off. Now to stick to their truck and let them take me right to the fat man himself. the delivery. I'll watch the truck. You got it, boss. And one thing will work on this door. Ionic webbing. I have eyes on Spider-Man! Think of it as a sticky, gooey, smelly sweater. Cozy, right? Let's not fight. Ah, never mind. Let's fight. The armor in the world can't fix stupid. Spread out. Secure the area. You got it. I want a perimeter set up. All points of entry watched. I'm on it. I catch anyone slacking off, they'll end up padding my arrest stats. Understood, sir. <laughs> Maintain radio contact. Check in every five minutes. I'll spread the word. The boss wants everyone working double shifts. I tell the boys. Task Force Cops, working with crooks. No, who could have possibly predicted that? Except everybody. Task Force? I don't... Here, he's right here! Huh? Hey, pay attention! I'm not gonna do this again for your benefit. Oh, snap! If you were awake, you'd be impressed. Oh, yeah. Just send me to try for King Bill. I'm not sure about the King Bill. I don't like working for a guy whose name I don't know. His money's green, and if you ask too many questions, it's bad for your health. That's all you need to know. I webbed your nostrils open so you won't snore. No need to thank me.
I'm gonna beat you senseless. And it'll... Don't feel bad. You're not... You're not... All right, you're not good. <laughs> Armor might look cool, but it doesn't make them any faster. Effort? I kind of feel like you don't respect me. Nothing gonna stop us now. Yeah, maybe it's scary, but I'd work for him over the Osborne kid any day. That guy's got issues, man. You might have a chance of boring me to death. You'll love my ionic weapon. Ah, come on, what's a spider gonna do? He messes with us, he just... <laughs> Looks to me like the elite task force wasn't all that elite. I'm sure you're quite pleased with yourself, but the night is young. I don't care what beef you have with a guy in your old crew. There's no more Russians, no more Italians. Now take some time. The armor's only as good as the guy inside. And those guys? Yeah, not good. Please, Spider-Man, beat up some more police officers. It'll be wonderful. Whatever those guys get paid, it's too much. Rapidly losing patience with you. In fact, I suppose when you live with a sad little life, you can't help but cling to small figurines. I fought tougher than you. Judges give Spidey a perfect score. Okay, the judges are just in my head, but still. Yeah, he's right here. <laughs> to think of it as a sticky, gooey, smelly sweater. Cozy, right? <laughs> and of course, the Daily Bugle never gets picked. Of me winning like this. Dispatch any friendlies in my area. Spider-Man, he's over here. Favorites, 
Neither does the seismic blast. any day. These robots don't talk your ear off. I may have to take a direct hand in this sordid matter. No more games, Buffalo Butt. Just you and me. What? No elevator music? This guy's cheaper than Jameson. <sighs> Smells like sweaty fat guys and burritos in here. Offense to burritos. Well, if it isn't the kingpin, catchy name, but I have to say, you look more like a bowling ball than a pin. Or maybe a beach ball? I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I'm impressed. You take control of crime in New York right under everybody's nose. The whole city knows you're crooked, and everyone still kisses your tookus. It must take what, like a week? A lot of ground to cover is what I'm saying. The only criminal I see is the masked man guilty of breaking and entering into my private building. A violent vigilante. The Daily Bugle has branded a menace. Fine. Play it like that. But one way or another, you're going down. <laughs> and now you threaten me. I dare say Jonah Jameson will praise me as a hero after I kill you. In self-defense, of course. You set Cletus Cassidy loose on the city. Not just to wipe out your rivals, but to scare them. To make things so bad, when you took over, it looked like you fixed it. Fix things, huh? You running around in a costume, acting out some adolescent power fantasy. I live in the real world, Spider-Man. Shaving marshmallow 
flop comes out. Spider doesn't play favorites. Neither does the seismic blast. Tell me what you did. Spider-Man. I've admitted no wrongdoing, broken no laws. There is no evidence against me. I have proof you paid Craven. No, my task force did. As a security consultant. I am shocked and horrified to hear he's done anything improper. If indeed he has. He was hired for his legendary skills and, and a strong code of conduct that would never allow him to betray a client. Craven might not give you up, but Cassidy will. <laughs> a lunatic like that? Oh, come now. His word can hardly be believed. And besides, a man would have to be a, a fool to deal with someone of his ilk directly. I assure you, I am no fool. I'm afraid, Spider-Man, that you are the only criminal here. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. This is not an action film, boy. Just because you're young does not mean you can hack my security and gain access to my personal... How are you doing that? Huh. Now who's underestimated who? Stop that! 
I demand you stop! All units, Max Dillon has escaped custody and is at large in Sector 4. What did you do? I have no idea what you mean. Thank you for showing me my areas of vulnerability. I assure you, they will be gone when you return. Using those generators to make an energy shield. Gotta take them out. Times Square seems to be the center of all this. I don't have to. We show you, you in set that. familiar about you. Max Dillon? You don't even remember. You said I was your eyes and ears. <laughs> said we were partners. I remember now. I did say that, and I meant it. Liar! You abandoned me! Left me in that place. Let them 
hurt me. All alone in the dark. Max, I don't know what happened to you. I can see you're in pain, but I can't help you unless you let me. Mind. But there are people who can help. Places you can go. No! That's what those doctors did! And all they did was hurt me! Never again! All I wanted was for people to notice me! Well, they'll notice now! I'll write the night while they huddle into shadows! You've got some serious self-esteem issues, don't you?
web shooters crash. sorry for the guy. He was a victim. And if what he said about Ravencroft is true, I've got to shut that place down. Oscorp's one of their big donors. Maybe Harry can help. Yeah. Mr. Osborne, you were right. Fisk is buying up Oscorp's stock for a hostile takeover. But as long as you're here, I'm confident we can stop it. Right. As long as I'm here. I have it, sir. Richard Parker's spider venom formula. But every time it's been used, there have been serious side effects. More serious than death? I'll take my chances. Now get out! Dr. Kafka, is that supposed to happen? No. I'll shut it down. if I don't find those bombs right away. We have a suspicious device in Midtown East. All units, evacuate the area.
advised we have reports of rogue elements of the task force installing unknown devices, possibly dangerous, in populated areas. Proceed with extreme caution. No way am I letting anyone set off bombs in my city. We have a suspicious device in Midtown East. All units, evacuate the area. Just admit this whole task force thing was a terrible idea. <laughs> Gotta get to the river fast. Power up! Lit up, Spidey. <laughs> okay, Dynamite. You can go boom now. I need a bomb squad unit to investigate a reported explosive device. Evacuation is in progress. Tell the regular task force guys from the renegades. But they're all after me, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna beat you senseless, and it'll be perfectly legal. <sighs> this isn't personal, I just think you're a jerk. Okay, maybe it is personal. Honestly, that's an improvement on what you were wearing. Best part of my job. You're gonna love this! Oh, well, I will. I'd explain how I... I like hurting people. Let me show you. Look at the world on a string. Ionic webbing makes everything better. You're just some skinny kid. <laughs> You're going down hard, pal. <clears throat> Police brutality. This belongs at the bottom of the river. Trying to stop your bombs. <sighs> I'm gonna beat you, senseless. And it'll be perfectly legal. <sighs> no more. No way. <sighs> oh, come on, don't cry. I can try. 
to humiliate you, Les. I love getting paid to beat punks like you. Not happen. This is gonna hurt. Mass casualties if I don't find those bombs right away. You know what you should do differently? Oh no, I didn't! Oh yes, I did! No time to lose. Let's go for a swim. Oh, I think I've had enough coffee. Just made it! No one plants bombs in my city. No one! All available units, respond to the Oscorp building. Set up a perimeter and assist in evacuation. We have reports of hostiles on the premises, armed and dangerous. Not again. Gotta get over there fast. like a bomb went off. Or a bunch of them. I need to find out who did it. I'm sure can't do it. Great. Listen, I know you task force guys think I'm the second coming of Al Capone, but there's a bigger threat right now. The goblin gave us this armor after he sprung us from Ravencroft. We work for him, and he wants you alive or dead. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna go with option two. Another one? Listen, guys, I know crazy doesn't need a reason, but I've never met this goblin you keep talking about. Well, the boss knows you, and he's paying us to bring you to him in pieces, if that's what it takes. kind of Oscorp tech the task force uses. Where'd you get it? What did you do to Harry Osborne? <laughs> no, it's what you... It's him you should worry about. And what he's gonna do to you. Just bad. For you. It's kind of awful. The view up here is great, especially when I bomb you. Okay, listen up, minion number four. I want answers. Your pals made it sound like Harry Osborne is this goblin person. But he'd never do that to his own company. Oscorp looks like a bomb. Another one? Listen, guys, I know crazy doesn't need a reason, but I've never met this goblin you keep talking about. Well, the boss knows you. He's paying us to bring you to him in pieces, if that's what it takes. Have a still get 
fireflies when I fight the bad guys. Thanks, sir. Please, that's the same kind of Osborne tech the task force uses. Where'd you get it? What did you do to Harry Osborne? <laughs> that's what you did to him you should worry about. And what he's gonna do to you. Okay, listen up, minion number four. I want answers. Your pals made it sound like Harry Osborne is this goblin person. But he'd never do that to his own company. I guess you don't know the boss as well as you thought. But chew on this. If he'd do that to Oscorp, what would he do to you? <laughs> down. If anyone's still in there, I've got to get them out. Fast. Mighty help me! Harry! I can't hold it for long! Thanks, Spidey. I'm gonna write Spider you a new book and tell them they're wrong me. about you. Osborne, is that really you? Does it look like me? No. Harry Osborne's dead thanks to you. All that's left is the Goblin. You couldn't wait, could you? You tried something else. Richard Parker's spider venom. And look, I'm a new man. I warned you, what could happen? I'm dying, you idiot. What else was I supposed to do? You could have let me do research. No. From now on, I take what I want, no matter who I have to kill. <laughs> All mine. <sighs> Why you're stable, then I'll do it myself. You're the disease. <laughs> 
but keep the power! <laughs> That's the first time anyone's called me stable. I gotta admit, you set the bar pretty low. I'm sorry for what happened to you. Your father failed you because he spent all his time trying to extend his life instead of living it. Don't make the same mistake, Harry! This is crazy! You're not helping anyone doing this! Not even yourself! Bro, I'm announcing your every move, your bio reading, something you should have done And that I won't be when you're dead. Except for you.
kill me. I don't want to live like this. That's never the answer. It's the easy way out. You think it's hard for you? There are people sick, dying all over the world, some with the same disease, who don't have your money, resources. Even if you don't want to keep fighting for yourself, you owe it to them. You're going to answer for your mistakes and do whatever you can to make up for them. The greatest man I ever knew taught me that. <laughs> Get over there now. Jameson has a point. How does he earn a living? He must be a thief. There's a riot at Ravencroft. We don't have the manpower to handle it. All we could do is close the bridge, seal it off. What about the people who work there? We sent in some task force guys to evacuate, but they're having a bad time. Any chance you can lend a hand? On my way. This is a nightmare. How'd it get so bad so fast? It's like someone deliberately freed all the most dangerous inmates. This is worse than I ever imagined. Both the staff and the non-violent inmates are in a bad spot. We've got to get those people out. It's like a disaster movie, but just for you. Glad to help. Now get as far away from here as you can. Come on, you're not taking this seriously! Or are you really that slow? Oh, Seismic Blast, is there anything you can make better? To evacuate anyone who's not involved in the riot. Attention, but I'm really busy. Quit fighting like that. I'm supposed to be the funny one. Please! Get this off me! Thank you. I was so scared. Head for the bridge. The police will get you out. guys are wearing this season. They say everyone's the hero of his own story. Eh, but come on, I'm the hero this one. I've got to evacuate anyone who's not involved in the riot. Got the spider! Target acquired! Fire! This is 
is gonna hurt. to get to safety. Just have a few. Spider Help me. Why is it the only people who seem to be really awesome on my own? Spider-Man, help me! 
admit it. Even you're impressed. Got the spider. Mencken, right? You work for Oscorp. I'll try not to hold that against you. What happened here? It was... Cassidy. We tried treating him with an experiment. don't! I know what you and Fisk were up to. Using these people as guinea pigs. Okay, fine, fine. But the danger's real. Cassidy changed into something horrible. Deadly. And he wants to make more like him. How do I stop Cassidy? Uh, I'm not sure you can. You'd have to overwhelm the symbiote we injected him with. Stop it from functioning. Inflict too much damage for it to handle. Uh, perhaps with fire, uh, or intense vibrations. Uh, it's all theoretical. We plan further studies, but... What did this nutball cocktail of yours do to him? I don't... I fully understand it. <coughs> but like everything else, the goal was to cure the Osborns. In this case, by creating organic, intelligent life forms, uh, nanites, that rely on the body's survival for their own. Now listen to me. Any disease, any damage, they can recognize and heal, as well as protect and defend the host. <coughs> Symbiotic relationship. More. Cassidy's a loony psycho killer. When did he turn into a social butterfly? He had an abusive father, absent mother. He was always jealous of other kids with loving, stable families. So he's trying to create one? Yes. Out of the most dangerous inmates at Ravencroft. He wants to build a family in his image. I'll get you outside, which is more than you deserve. But then I have to go after Cassidy. I agree. He's headed for the sub-basements, where the most damaged inmates are kept. Now, if he makes them into beings like him, no place will be safe. Oh. <laughs> Just what I always wanted.
Okay, I'm fine from here. My car's outside. Get to a hospital. Tell the police everything. Or after I'm done with Cassidy, I'll come looking for you. Duty security. Wonder what they had here. I get the feeling something seriously wrong was going on here. <laughs> that water's got a live current in it. Gotta stay on high ground. Would be a much better weapon. Would I lie to you? You know what you should do differently? Everything. You're just some skinny kid. You're going down hard, pal. Police brutality? You don't... I get it now. You're trying to bore me to death. You're not fighting purse snatchers now. Fight instead! Oh, you should see me do the worm! I like hurting you! I'm gonna beat you senseless. And it'll be perfectly legal. Ionic webbing! Sorry, it's just fun to say that. You're gonna love this! I will. Is it personal? I just think you're a jerk. Okay, maybe it is personal. Huh, that was fun. Let's do it again. Equipment, burn marks. I bet this is where they held Max Dillon. Target acquired. Dispatch I. Possible movement. Target acquired. Quit fighting like that. I'm supposed to be the funny one. That's part of my job. Beating down pumps. Boom, shakalaka. Sometimes I even impress myself. Something behind that wreckage. <laughs> Gotta stay out of that water, or I'm gonna get one heck of a jolt. <laughs> Venom Project. 
<laughs> Great. Why is it never the puppy project or the chocolate project? <laughs> Gotta stop Cassidy before he makes things even worse. is that? Actually, it doesn't look like anything from Earth. I've never seen anything so horrible in my life. I have a growing family, Spider-Man. So many mouths to feed. I think I'll feed you. That is the most disgusting. As you go, one of you is already too many. I'm not Cletus Cassidy. Not anymore. I'm my true self now. I'm Carnage! are you? I didn't web up your mouth because I don't want you to suffocate, but you're starting to talk me out of it. See, you think you're joking, but I know what you won't admit to yourself. When I killed those criminals, you were happy. You were grateful to me, weren't you? No, I... It's not too late to understand. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. You say you're searching for answers in death, but what were you trying to do when I stopped you? Make others like you? A family? So we can spread the message, the truth, that chaos and death are the only- Wrong. You're trying to create a family because you never had one. You weren't looking for death, Cletus. You wanted the life you never had. Now who's not seeing the truth? You said you killed to understand death. What are you trying to understand? The meaning, the truth. The secrets it reveals about all of us that we're afraid to see. I can tell you that. Death is a part of life. It happens. Sometimes for a reason, sometimes for no reason. You're wasting your time looking for some cosmic answer in death. Life is where you find meaning. And buddy, you've wasted yours. What makes you think I'm anything like you? You wanted to do what I did. End those criminals forever. That's true. I didn't want to admit it, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel that way. I knew it. But that's human. Anger, wanting revenge. It's not wrong to feel emotions like that. It's wrong to act on them. Here's the real difference between us, Spider-Man. I'm at peace with who I am. You shouldn't be. And you should? Then why aren't you? Sorry, Cletus. I just figured out talking to a psycho killer isn't gonna give me the answers I'm after. I know what will. Death!
motion. Hey, you'd be less nervous if you picture me naked. You know what? That's weird. are going to find any answers here. What's the matter, Peter? You look like you lost your last friend. Hey, but I know for a fact you've still got at least one. It's Uncle Ben. I miss him so much. I just feel... lost without him. He raised me. I loved him. And he died because he was looking for me. I'm not sure how to live with that. Let me ask you something, Pilgrim. Your Uncle Ben, he was one of the best people I ever knew. Everyone loved him. He had an amazing life, right? So why do you want to make it all about how it ended? What counts isn't how he died, Peter. What matters is really the way he lived. I want you to make his life mean something. I want you to be the man he raised you to be. The man that he was so proud of when he saw what you were growing into. He told you that? All the time. Your uncle knew what a tough place the world could be. He knew that it needs heroes. And hey, take it from me. You are one of those heroes. So what do you say? Are you gonna go out there and prove it? I want you to do it for Uncle Ben, and for me. Yeah. Yes, Dan. I will. I miss Uncle Ben. I'll always miss him. But I don't have to replace him, because he already gave me everything I needed. Now it's up to me to honor his memory by using what he gave me, in a way that'll make him proud. Nuff said. Nuff said. Oh, you can rely on me, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> I consider it my honor to provide any help I can. What happened to young Osborne is tragic. But never fear. I'll continue to finance the task force myself. And, at the risk of seeming overconfident, I promise you, 
With the criminal organizations that plagued our city crushed, the crime rate will go down to a manageable level. Yeah, goodbye. There you are. Come in, my friend. Come in. I couldn't have done this without you. Chameleon. What happens now? Now, the real work begins. Can't ever forget why I'm here. To help people.